Hey everyone, Spence from 45 Drives again. Another Tuesday tech tip, or probably more like a Tuesday tech talk. Uh, today I just wanted to discuss the storage architecting process here at 45 Drives, what we do, why we do it, and why it benefits you. So the storage architects here at 45 Drives and kind of our, our pre-sale process, right? You've probably met, uh, if you've ever been on one of our uh, sales calls or engineering calls, you've probably met one of us before. Uh, myself, Mitch, and, and Archie, who all have done videos here before, uh, are also part of that same team. Uh, but that team's goal is to do pre-sale design, right? So to design solutions specific to your needs. Uh, and, and that comes with a, a series of questions. And one of the, the most common questions I get during those calls is why am I asking these questions? Kind of what is the purpose of these questions and, and what we're gaining out of it? So today I really just wanted to give you kind of a peek behind the curtain of, of why we ask these questions and what type of benefits they bring. Uh, so oftentimes uh, you'll hear us ask things like, you know, general performance numbers, right? How many megabytes a second do you want? How many IOPS do you need? Uh, and those are, are relatively you know, low level questions that are, that are trying to get a, a sense of performance. Of course, most, if not everyone, won't just have those numbers to hand, nor do we expect you to. Um, but that's where you know, further questions come along. So you may not know uh, the exact uh, throughput requirements of your storage server, but if you're in uh, video streaming or something like that, you may know that you have four 1080p cameras that are currently writing to the server. That gives us an indication there of performance. So kind of this idea of abstracting numbers, raw numbers, uh, from more general pieces of information. And then why is all this in, important, right? So the main reason we do these questions and we, we go through this whole process is to make a solution that works uniquely for you. Um, now we could just do you know, general prepackaged solutions, but those can run into a lot of problems, right? Uh, if some oddity in your environment isn't taken into account or if some weird aspect of your workflow isn't taken into account by the product, that can result in issues. Um, and a, a recent example of, of something like this uh, would be in, in Ceph, there's this concept of write amplification, uh, which is basically if a file is under Ceph's default allocation size, that file can actually explode up in size um, particularly if you're doing any type of like erasure coding, which we've talked about erasure coding before on these videos, but that's that like RAID 6, RAID 5 equivalent in, in Ceph. That can run into a, a couple issues if your workflow is doing really small file transfers. Uh, so oftentimes people pick erasure coding for kind of improved storage efficiency. Uh, but if you're using you know, very small files, you can actually see those files explode two or three times in size, so you're really losing that storage efficiency. Uh, whereas that's something that if, if we are aware of, like we know that you're using these very small files, again, we don't need to know the exact size, but uh, an indication that these files are small, we can design with that in mind. So maybe instead of doing that big erasure code profile, maybe we have to do a smaller erasure code profile so that write amplification isn't as frequent. Or maybe we just have to go with replica, which could also bring some performance benefits. So really, these questions are important on, on driving in that use case, kind of narrowing down the focus, right? So we start very broad with those bigger questions and we keep narrowing in with more and more specific questions until we get kind of the solution that makes the most sense for your environment. Uh, now again, like I, I mentioned earlier in this video, there's no need for you to come prepared to those calls with all of that information. Uh, we ask questions in a way that we can kind of pull that information out. So again, that example of, okay, I don't know my, my throughput, but I do know that you're running these cameras. I know you're using these codecs. I can kind of infer what those numbers would be from that. Uh, so I guess that's just kind of the, the high level overview of, of what we do here, uh, why we go through that process to get you that solution that is tailored specifically to your needs and will match your use case to the best of our ability. And uh, with that, I think we're, we're pretty much done. This one was kind of rambly, but I uh, hope you guys got some good info out of it and kind of a, a peek behind what we do. Uh, maybe in the future we can do more of these kind of departments in 45 drives and what they do and why they do it. Uh, but for now, see you guys next time.